Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 80... 86. And we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And uh, we found a Mandalorian camp on the moon Dixon. And we can get to Andoran like we had originally intended to on the Mandalore's shuttle if... If we can uh, prove ourselves and earn some honor. I thought I had already gotten all the Mandalore, the, the camp uh, in. But if you look at the map, it, there's clearly some more stuff a little bit further to the north. So let's um, let's go about that. Because I, I know that part of what I'm looking for is a battle circle. Which will let me engage in some uh, friendly adjacent sparring. And, and that will both earn me some honor and set up a couple extra quests. And that's probably the computer that I was looking for earlier. So let's do that before we start talking. Okay. Yeah, that's probably it right there. That's probably the battle site right there. So let's run in here real quick. And okay, there's our telemetry computer. Anything else? Oh, hey, there's the workbench I was looking for. That's going to come in handy a little bit later, too. All right, let's... Oh, one spike? That's it? I thought he said this was going <laughs> to... This telemetry computer has been painstakingly reassembled. This core programming, however, appears to be corrupted. Uh, does it take one spike to reboot it and start again? <laughs> it's fixed. Done. Ooh. Some XP, too. All right, so all we got to do now is find the part that is in some critter's chest. Uh, that's got to be the hangar door to the shuttle that we can't use until we earn the honor of the Mandalore. Or is this it? No. Oh, what's the box? Eh, Parts. I mean, yeah, it says Sonic Grenade, but ultimately it's going to be parts. And... Ooh, an Ossus Keeper robe? Um... Where did I get the Heavy Blaster from, too? Alright. Hey, there's one of those Rippers I was looking for. Never mind. Good thing I didn't spend money on it. All right, this is a Jedi robe, defense bonus one. Oh, yeah, that is the downside to the Matuki apprentice robe. Uh, this is a defense bonus one, charisma two, intelligence four, and wisdom four. Ooh. That might be worth giving a Jedi that really could use a wisdom boost. Because that would definitely help with powers. Uh, the intelligence and the... I mean, if it wasn't for the poor defense, I, I'd be tempted to bump up those robes and use them myself. Because I could use the charisma, intelligence, and wisdom. But uh, the existing armor gives me a defense bonus of four. And... I mean, my defense is 27, so it's not exact. Oh, probably, uh. Let's go ahead and use that one up. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Is it worth, uh, tanking three defense? I've got a few other ways of getting extra defense, so. Hmm. Some darts. My lady with the wrist rocket will, uh. Might be happy to see that. Anything else before I go challenge a few Mandalorians and uh, show them how this is really done? Nope, just a massive crater site. A metal box. With a buster rocket and some chemicals. Any other random loot boxes running, wait, running around? 
Ooh, what's in the bag? Parts and credits. Oh, must not have been that important. Just leaving a bag sitting there. Alright, so we got a couple of different people. So you are the visiting oh. Jedi. You aren't much to look at. Oh. Are you here to observe or do you seek to prove yourself in the battle circle? Huh. Uh, and who I are you? Dobro, a Mandalorian warrior. Oh. I have yet to taste real battle, so I test my worth in the battle circle instead. Uh, <laughs> that's not the same thing, good sir. I promise you. All right. Uh, are there rules? A few. No fights to the death. Okay. Other parts of our training weed out the weak among us, but that isn't the function of the battle circle. There are individual rules for each fight. The warrior with greater honor determines those, which in your case means any Mandalorian makes the rules. Fine. Our history is one of battles and wars, but there are times when even we must deal with peace. The battle circle allows us to hone our skills by fighting other Mandalorians. Okay. It pales to what we really oh. serve for, honor in battle, but it keeps us prepared. Talk to the sergeant if you want to fight. All right. So the sergeant's the one that I need to talk to about the fighting, but I, I want to... Uh, Talk to these other guys, because they'll be important in a little bit, too. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. <laughs> you always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would probably be the most honorable. With you in the battle circle. Uh... <laughs> you don't seem as aggressive as the other Mandalorians. This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. Okay, I that's fair. Train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians <laughs> handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. Okay. Can I choose who I fight? No. It is up to the sergeant. The battle circle was not designed to settle petty vendettas and rivalries. Its primary purpose has always been Okay, teaching. that's fair. Learning from books or holovids is useless when battle that. rages and soldiers are dying around you. Real knowledge can only be gained through combat. Perhaps we can learn from one another in time. Perhaps we can. Alright, I've already asked the other guy how the battle circle works. Oh, well, you know what, let me see what he you says. With the sergeant. Today is his day to preside over the circle. Each okay. fight is different because the Mandalorian with greater honor dictates the terms of the engagement. But there will be no terms if we fight. Uh. Everyone else will deny you your lightsaber and the use of your force. But I want to fight you with all your skill. <laughs> Victory isn't important in the battle circle. What is important is discovering more about yourself and your opponent. Okay. That works. That works. All right. All right. So when I get to him, I, I know he, he will uh, fight me with every, everything I got at my disposal. What about you, sir? This is our battle circle. You should leave us. Oh, come on, this man. This place is for Mandalorians alone. Even if the sergeant lets you fight with us, you will never truly be one of us. Why? Because I didn't wear my helmet in front of my potential enemies? I can fix that if you'd like. All right, let's talk to the sergeant. Jedi come to grace us. The battle <laughs> circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi wings won't help you here. All right. Uh, I am a real warrior. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and no, the lowliest Mandalorian warrior wouldn't be a match for me. I thought you wanted a fight. Alright. I want to fight in the battle circle. So you will fight Davro. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davro, Fine. are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. Just fist and foot. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step okay. out of the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. 
All right, then. Let's, uh... No powers. No powers. No powers. All right. Let's, uh, just queue up some flurries, then. Oh, come on, man. I thought you were going to make this a fight. Although, it does seem odd that I'm punching and kicking a dude in heavy armor, and it's not breaking my foot or something. Hey, 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 weren't you the one mouthing off about real warriors? I mean, you're only worth 100 XP. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi I'm not actually technically a Jedi, just so you know. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. Oh. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. <laughs> As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. Oh. Oh, I would fight again. Let's uh let's do this again. Here to watch a fight or to participate. Uh I, all right, what are the rules? I'm not interested right now. Alright, uh, I want to fight in the battle circle. After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. Small there is a challenger honor. for you. He attacks the quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. Oh, I actually get to choose the terms. Hey, Danny. How's it going? Alright. Hand to hand. No further turns. Uh, let's see if I can earn a little more respect by asking what would be appropriate. The battle circle is for training. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords would be a good choice. Okay. It is something neither one of you are completely familiar with. But the choice is ultimately yours to make. All right. Um, let's fight with swords, as you suggested. Then. Uh, an honorable choice. I will send a runner to Kex. Your fight will begin shortly. All right. Let's do this. Item received: a dueling Vibra sword. Okay. No powers. Don't leave the circle. All right. Let's uh, queue up those flurries then. Oh, I thought this was going to be a fight. Maybe I should have done the power attack and finished it quicker. There we go. Journal entry added. 150 XP. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Oh. Oh, I do want to fight again. Who's next? Here to watch a fight or to participate. I am here to beat the snot out of whoever else right now. I want to fight in the battle circle. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Okay. Catherine, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with Devil. Nothing else. Catherine All right, just fist and foot. Hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed. No weapons. Absolutely no, no force. Use of your force. Although he didn't say no items. Although, I'll, I'll hold off on those unless they're absolutely needed. Just to be sure. Alright. Let's, uh, queue up those flurries. Oh. He's landing the hits, and I am not. Alright, let's, uh, do some regular attacks then. I seem to be uh, managing the brawl with better health. Ish. I mean, push comes to shove, I can dance around the circle a little bit and let my health regen. But this, uh... Nah, I should be able to finish him off real quick. Finish him! Finish him quicker! Without the misses! Come on, hit him! Oh, did I beat him? Okay, good. The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. All right, that was the looking Jedi a little. Uh, the clear and honorable victor. I was looking a you little close there. Well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves or worthy, Mandalore! and it must be real proof. Ah. The kind you gain fighting foes ah! to the death. 
and a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There well, okay, are two then. champions in the camp, Raylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Uh, so it is spoken. Or this is the way. This is the way. Jedi teachings prevent you from having a true warrior spirit. Jedi couldn't have been the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that honor. Yeah, okay. So the Jedi Order isn't completely <sighs> dead. You always have. I have studied. Can you vouch for me in the battle circle? I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far. And I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion... Yeah, I heard you guys are inflexible like that. Mission. Perhaps your paths will cross. And you will have your opportunity there. Ah, okay. And the sergeant's gonna tell me that it's closed. What about you, good sir? I have lost. But this was no true contest. Jedi are skilled... Wait, 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 wait. It was no true contest. You said it would be no contest the other way around. Okay. I bet he won't. Alright, let's uh... And top that off one more time. And let's get our lightsaber back. <laughs> Running around without a weapon seems unwise. Uh, how about, there we go. Oh, where is my lightsaber? There we go. Okay. Eventually, I will have to go around and uh, check everybody's equipment and try to get something better set up. But in the meantime, yeah, thank you. Running with a lightsaber seemed highly unsafe. All right, so we've uh, picked up a bunch of quests. We've earned some small honor, such as it may be. I probably should have used that workbench back there to upgrade the robes for these two. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm... What new gear does it seem to think I have, anyway? Oh. Another rocket, another... Android stuff. I don't remember picking up some of that stuff. D does it like randomly decide? Oh, did no? Okay. I don't know what that's all about. So we're progressing the battle circle. We're progressing the tech assistance. We just need to. Uh, Oh, you should be able to fix that anyway, yeah? Nah, let's go find the part anyway. Oh, that's right. I was going to change up the party. Let's, uh, remove her. And let's get some blaster support. HK is always fun to have around. Let's bring him along. And real quick... I got that War Bowcaster 4 to 23, but there was a. No, oh, that's a pistol. No, oh, never mind. No, none of those is going to be as good as what I got going right now. Alright, let's uh, head back out to the jungle. And reorient ourselves. We are... Oh, pretty much where we left off. Okay. So what do we got here? We got a bunch of Mandalorians. Huh. huh. What do you mean, huh? You finally arrived, Jedi. Oh. I to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. Stole? You here, outside of the What's circle. this stole? This time, we fight to the death. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
Many Mandalorians have fallen into Jedi. There's no dishonor in that, if that's your wish. Ah, uh, you're a fool to challenge me again. Why, do you want to fight me again? I was too young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our clan scattered, there was no opportunity to prove myself. Years ago, okay. young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied me. What little honor I have earned, you stripped from me in the battle circle. This I won't allow. Yeah, I don't want to kill you, though. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not oh, shame Isn't there, like, some sort of joint hunt or something we could go on? Hey, look, I can I, I can even ask that question. There must be other ways to uh, prove yourself. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas yeah, were a force to be feared. Okay, well, what about the Zakeg? I hear they're a challenge even for a Mandalorian. The Zakeg? Those are the deadliest beasts in this part of the jungle. Patrols are right to be cautious about them. I'll do what I must to prove myself to the other okay. Mandalorians, but fighting a Zakek would be a short-lived honor. I'm looking for him. We could fight it together. What? Yes, uh, I suppose that is possible. We would both gain recognition from that battle. Your plan <laughs> is acceptable to me. Together we will destroy the Zakek. I will meet you there. All right. So you're going to be my plus one for the battle with the Zack Egg. Gotcha. What? Okay. Let's, uh, do some conversations first. <laughs> if you head out into the jungle, stay alert. Our patrols keep the area clear of the more dangerous beasts. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the smaller ones still infest the path. Yeah, you already told me about that. Okay. I'll be careful. Fine. Fine. I'm done with your hess. Alright. Let's see. I need to go... Oh. Fine. I was just going to let you be there. But no. You had to come and attack me. Oh, actually, you know what? I just realized. I, as much as I want to have the handmaiden with me, I should have Baradur with me. Because he's able to heal the droids. Alright, let me level him up to catch him up, and, uh, and then I'll break for another episode. Let's go ahead and level him up. I, I have not converted him to a Jedi because I really want him to do nothing but level as a tech specialist. Because uh, he he needs all seven <laughs> skill points that he's getting for computer use, demolitions, awareness, repairs, security, and we'll bump up uh, treat injury there. Okay. And he's got another one. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good. Good. Then in that case, I'll uh, I'll insert the cut, which means for the live stream taking a break and for YouTube, YouTube gets to watch the next one another day. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died, then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. 
And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.